What is going on guys and welcome to this FIFA 15 Inform Sergio Asenjo play review. Now this week's team of the week I have done a goalkeeper first because I absolutely hate La Liga goalkeepers. I think they're all pretty shit. And Asenjo looks like a pretty all round decent keeper. So yeah, as you can see he's got 85 diving, 80 handling, 79 kicking, 59 speed, 81 positioning, 82 reflexes. Says he's 6 foot there, however on footed it says it's 5 foot 11 but you know we'll go with the in game. Now in game stats obviously the same as a base card. So yeah. On to Asenjo then, now he started off at Atletico Madrid, he was about just before the hit, however I think this guy as you can see has got the injury prone, prone trait, he got quite badly injured, I can't remember what, quite what it was. But yeah, he's moved on to Villarreal and he's finally fulfilling the potential that he has. Now, onto this card. Now, as I was saying, I hate the Liga goalkeepers, all of them. Stegen, you know, in from Diego Alves, because he is everyone they hold in my head in. But this guy impressed me and I will make the claim now, he is the best Liga goalkeeper without a doubt. You know, reflexes wise, this guy's shot stopping ability is absolutely fantastic. You'll see quite a few very, very good clips. I mean, look at that. That's a great save. He was out very fast as well to the, um, the player there, deny him. So yeah. I have to say his reflexes and his all-round goalkeeping ability is absolutely superb. His positioning, he was always in the right place at the right time, you know. He always made, look at this here, great position there, great moving around and a very good save, you know. He was very, very difficult to score past for some people. I came up against some decent strikers and they all struggled to get past him. Now, uh, I'd say he's, well, the worst thing about this card, as I was saying before, is his height, I feel. Now... It says he's six foot, however, I did get lobbed quite a few times. Now, six foot obviously isn't small, but in particularly tall even for a goalkeeper, and I do feel that if he was a three inches taller, this car would be an absolute demon. Other than his height, I have to say his kicking was pretty poor, but you can get away with that. His distribution overall wasn't the greatest, you know, his throwing wasn't the best, but that is something you can... It wasn't absolutely terrible, he could easily kick it to the halfway line. But yeah... Under the pros and cons family guys, and I have to say I was really impressed with his keeper overall. Everything about him was superb. His, his diving was great, you know, he, he got down very fast, very quickly, and obviously having good reflex as well. He could dive and make a good save, and he did. He parried the ball away from danger. He didn't parry it into danger, he always parried it away from danger, which is obviously great for a keeper, because you don't want him parrying it straight back to the um, the player that's just shot. But yeah, pros and cons family guys, as I was saying, reflexes, good, got great reflexes, you know, he can pull off some amazing saves. Positioning wise, he's superb, as I was saying. Catching, you know, he he isn't particularly the most dominating keeper in his area, but he can catch very well, you know, great diving. It's, and probably the main thing for me is that he's cheap, you know, he's, he's cheaper than Silla, you can see his, you know, his uniform sort of Diego Alves. He's definitely worth getting. Cons, height, he's, he's 5 foot 11, 6 foot, he isn't big enough in my opinion. And kicking, yeah, it isn't the worst thing he can kick at the halfway line, however... It, I, if you, I have to be picky, that is what I'd want to be better. But in my opinion, this guy is the best um, La Liga goalkeeper. I really would recommend getting him if you're building a La Liga team. So, yeah, there will be more info reviews coming up, guys. Other than that, thank you for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and have a very, very nice day.